Ciao belli, how are you? Today my exploration needed a slightly fashionable approach, so I shaved, I had my haircut done, I put my bow tie, and now I'm ready to discover with you the Italian capital of design and fashion, Milano. Are you ready? Andiamo! Apparently, Milan was founded by a Celtic tribe in the 6th century BC. Then it was conquered by the Romans, who gave it the old Latin name Mediolanum. Medio means in the middle, and Lanum, land. In fact, Milan it is in the middle of the Cadanian Plateau, that is the biggest flat area of Italy. Milan is the financial hub of this country, center of Italian publishing, and one of the most important trade fairs of Europe. People visiting Lombardy region where we are now, they skip Milan in order to visit the beautiful lakes of the area or to go skiing right on the Alps. It is not a good idea, as Milan got a lot to offer. Here, for example, we are in the district of Brera, and the severe building behind me is the most important paintings gallery of the city, called Pinacoteca di Brera. Just to give you a few names, inside you can find Piero della Francesca, Raffaello, Andrea Mantegna, and so on. How you can skip it? Come on. The building behind me is one of the most prestigious opera houses in the world, La Scala Theatre. Here, the most important opera singers performed, as well as the two great sopranos, Renata Tebaldi and Maria Callas. Ooh, they didn't like each other. No, 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 bitter rivals. By the way, the theatre was designed in 1778 by the architect Pier Marini, and the first time I saw it, I wasn't very impressed. I was expecting something more grand, something more opulent. But remember, this is the key word to understand Milan. Understatement. Milanese, they don't like to show off too much. And now it's time to approach La Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II, aka La Galleria. It is a great landmark of Milan. It was built in 1800 by the architect Giuseppe Mengoni, and it is a place to go to see and to be seen. Andiamo! Today it hosts luxury shops, jewelry, haute couture, restaurants, cafes, as well as the first Prada shop ever opened. It was 1913, the official name was Fratelli Prada, Prada Brothers, and it was specialized into luxury leather handbags and travel accessories. And before carry on, let's have a look at the beautiful iron glass ceiling. Floor, there are five coat of arms. The central one represents the former royal house of Italy, the Savoy family, while the other represents today capital, Rome, and the former capitals of the Italian kingdom, Milan, Florence, and Turin. Turin got an interesting tradition. Let's go. The name Torino comes from Toro, that means bull. Now, according to tradition, if you spin three times with your heel on the testicles of the poor bull, ouch, you get good luck. Let's see if it works. And now be ready for the most incredible, fantastic, flamboyant building of Milan. Ladies and gentlemen, drum rolls His Majesty, the Duomo. Goosebumps. Construction started in 1386 and it was sponsored by Gian Galeazzo Visconti, the lord of the city, who provide the marble from Lake Maggiore. It is called Condoglian marble and a new system of canals was built on purpose in order to bring the material directly in town. Do you know how long it took to get completed? More than 546 years. Can you imagine a kind of huge dinosaur left? I'm finished in the middle of the city, generation after generation. Just to give you a few numbers, there are 3,400 stages in total, 135 spires, 150 gargoyles, and 55 monumental glass windows. Definitely 
you need a guided tour in order to discover outdoor and indoor details. It is absolutely beautiful. It's amazing, isn't it? This is the Sforza Castle, Castello Sforzesco, built in 15th century by the Duke of Milan, Francesco Sforza. It was renovated several times during its history, especially after World War II, as it was heavily damaged. Today hosts a beautiful art collections and several museums. And if you feel more wild, at the back of this building, there is the most popular park of Milan called Parco Sempione. If you have the chance, don't miss the beautiful Santa Maria delle Grazie Church. If you look over there, there is a long line as that one is the ticket office for the famous Last Supper that is hosted in the former convent of the church. Remember, you need to reserve the ticket with large advance. We are in a district called Isola. Years ago, when people used to ask, where you live? And you say, Isola, they said, huh? And now is, where you live? Isola, ah. Uh -huh. Between A uh, and A, uh, there are billions of euros of investment. The district changed a lot. Here we had a hole in the ground and now we have a beautiful park. We have a new square dedicated to Guy Aulenti, an architect, and we are surrounded by beautiful contemporary buildings. And behind me, an incredible landmark, Bosco Verticale, vertical forest. Two towers of luxury apartments each one with his own terrace, with trees and plants. Ah, expensive! Mm. This is an area of Milan called City Life. They built a new park, a shopping mall designed by Zaha Hadid architect, and three towers, the straight one, the curved one, and the twisted one. And here, on one of the luxury penthouse, lives the most popular fashion influencer of Italy, Chiara Ferragni. Oh, sorry guys, I forgot the cell phone. Sorry. Pronto? Hey, ciao Chiara, come stai? Grazie. Sì, tutto bene, grazie. Un caffè? Eh, sono un po' occupato adesso, sì. Eh, magari nel pomeriggio, dai. Grazie, grazie mille. Saluta Fede, eh? Bacio al pupo. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Sorry guys, I forgot. She's a good friend of mine. She called me pretty often, by the way, but she's really nice. If you are into fashion, don't miss the fashion district where the most upscale brands are Gucci, Ferragamo, Armani, Versace and so on. Remember, the unmissable appointment are the two fashion weeks. One is in February, March, the other one in September, October. During that time frame, walking in the middle of the street, you will see people wearing crazy clothes like they escape from a psychiatric hospital. They are not crazy. That's fashion. During the fashion week, make sure you have your own FDA. What is the FDA? Thank you for your spontaneous question. FDA is Fashion District Attitude. Basically, whatever you do, you need to look extremely bored. How it works? Very easy. You look down, you look up, and you turn your head on the other side. Look. And if you are not familiar, you can rehearse before leaving the hotel. Then it's going to work. By the way, the most awaited appointment of Milan, when the city got crazy, it is not the fashion week. It is the Milan Design Week, so-called Salone del Mobile. It is the most important showcase worldwide of furniture, lightning, houseware. If you are into this kind of stuff, it is absolutely unmissable. Of course, as usual, I've got my lack of sugar, so I decided to do what locals do. Here in Milan, people have a very strong tradition of aperitivo. What is the aperitivo? Thank you for your spontaneous question. Aperitivo can be translated as a happy hour, so you pay for your own drink and then you get some finger food. So, with a nice drink and with this beautiful view, I will say goodbye to you. Un bacio.